Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am trying out a new medium that I got from Windsor & Newton. It's an iridescent medium. It's been on the market for a while, but I just haven't uh, done anything with it. So you can see I've got it in that little palette there in that little well to the upper right. It's a clear, but it's very, very shiny, very, very pretty. And you can either um, mix it in with the mediums that you're using, or you can dry paint and then dry it and then brush it over. It's whatever look you're going for there. But um, here I'm dropping, I'm making like a little bookmark. So I'm using some Canson watercolor paper, dropping some of my Jane Davenport inks in there. And then I'm going along and dropping in that iridescent medium. And it, the video just doesn't do it justice. It's really pretty. Um, just gives that shimmer without being too much and not being too little. So I'm going ahead now, I dried that with my heat tool and I'm using some Jane Davenport stamps. This is like Jane Davenport day, I guess. Um, and then uh, drawing in some tendrils and sort of whatever you want to call those doodly things. And then I'm going to put some more of that iridescent medium on top of the dry. And, um, and then I want to give those flowers a little pop. So I'm going in with some more ink. I think I'm going to put some in the well there. Um, some of the same color I used for the darker teal and uh, just trying to make those flowers stand out a little bit better. This is on, I don't know if I said this, but it's on Canson watercolor paper. Um, yeah, if you want to give this video a like and subscribe, don't forget to do that. Check the links out down below for um, links to this product and other, uh, my blog and my shop and all of that good stuff. Uh, thank you for supporting artists. And uh, going in with some Posca pen just to kind of highlight uh, the stamped image with some white and some black just to kind of make it pop since I've had a lot of ink on top of that, top of that kind of dulled the lines a little bit. Um, so bringing that out now, you could laminate this, you could leave it as is and seal it or whatever, poke a hole in the top or punch a hole at the top and put like a dangly bit and trim off some of that white. But, uh, I like how this turned out. Great, great medium. You really should try it. It is so much fun. You can turn any color into a shimmery goodness of a color. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. Uh, and